Uh, you, you just, uh, left click for sword. But I think you can hurt, I think you're able to hurt me. Let's see which direction. We're gonna go, yeah, don't run into the portal. I think it's this way we're going. Should be a road over here. Yeah, we're going to take this road, I think. Yep. Yeah, hold down shift, we'll run. How much time is on your timer on the top right of the screen? I mean, top left, I mean. Alright. So, yeah, you have more time than I do, so we're good. It's a toxic environment. So we have a limited amount of time to get stuff done. But the towns, you can you can recoup in towns, though. Okay, yeah. Oh. You're facing the wrong direction. Turn around. I think... Let's follow the map. Yeah, we're going this way. Yeah, the art style is like a minimalistic, kind of cute, stylized style. It actually works pretty well. Yeah, see, when you get into this town, see how your number is going up for the time? You got some, like, stuff. You can do crafting and all sorts of stuff, but... Let's just make sure. Yeah, I don't know the backstory that well, but something took over. Some sort of plague took over the world. So you just have a little pocket dimension that's safe, that's your own, which is the place you started in. And you go into the portal to collect supplies. Yeah, which direction do we go from here? Swamps and Sandstone City. Let's see. What? Yeah, I think we want to go this. Maybe. What's in the container? Oh, wow, we got rope. I don't know what rope's for, so I'll get it. I wish, the, I wish there was bigger bags, because I collect a lot of stuff. I said, I wish I had bigger bags, because I collect a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's a shop. Yeah, the shop's kind of... I just bought a bunch of health potions and some arrows, but it's fine. So, yeah, we're going to continue on this way. There's quests you can do too, but I just kind of like to do my own thing. I do the quests when I have to to progress, but that's it. If you have like little towns right here, you walk up to the chest, press F, and there'll be stuff in there for you. Oh, wood crossbow. Oh, neat. Let's see something. I got a crossbow now. Oh, I don't have bolts. I need bolts, don't I? Actually, yeah, I'll have you do something. Oh, shit. I put my sword in here. Wait, no, I don't want that. Yeah, we'll keep going. You gotta go find the goblins. Okay, let's try to fight this guy. See how well you do at combat. I'll hold him.
Hey, you got him. Yeah. What do we have here? Fancy loot chest has nothing in it. Iron ore, we'll take it. Got logs. Yeah, I'm running out of room. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop some stuff, and all you have to do is walk up to it and press whatever button it tells you to, okay? Here you go. Just walk up to it, and I, you press E. There's two different items. E, yeah. You should have another item to pick up. Yep. Okay, so. Are we going the right? Oh, yeah, we got to go back to the road. Oh, a hatchet. Yeah, you open, open this container, and then you just have to take the item. You just... Drag it over to your your inventory. Oh, okay. Wait. The hatchet. There should be a hatchet in the crate. You just have to drag it from the right side boxes to the left side boxes to your inventory. When you open the container, you walk up to this, press F. Yeah. Okay, good. It act I had the container open at the same time and it actually disappeared. Right. Yeah, some games like this are coded wrong where I could have grabbed that same item at the same time and then we each end up with the item. It's actually... Oh, yeah, escape should get you out of that. We gotta keep, we're going to the goblin town. Got some signs here. Spawnville, Sandstone City, Permafrost Village. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Are these things I can gather? Nope. Like the ambient noise usually sounds pretty good. There's some areas where it's kind of odd the way it's like you can find like edges of the sound. What is this? Oh, I see what that is. That's that's a 2D thing that's set up to rotate based on your point of view. That looks a bit out of place, but it's no big deal. Hey, come on. Turn around. Right here. We got to go get the goblins. I think it's... I'm guessing there's goblins. This. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing. This I think this is where goblins are going to be. Hey, you just got my... Okay, I'll get a picture of you. Hey, stay there. Here, got a picture of you. Not sure, but the music's getting kind of eerie. Good question. No. I think I got poisoned by something. Do 
going the right way. Yep, we're going this goblin encampment this way. What do you think so far? I mean, you'd probably need help doing some of the crafting stuff, but... You can... Uh, it's fine. I'm not sure what's in this village yet. Let me take a look first. You can stand right here. Let me explore first. Yeah, because these might be big dogs. Goblin. Yeah, they're kind of big. A, li a little bit, but we should be good. We just got to stick together. They're not big. They're little dogs, but they're little dogs that can hurt a little bit. Press Q. Yeah, you need to press Q. Yeah. Yeah, press it again. It'll go up. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Got that. A potion. Oh look, there's a chest. Let's see if I can get the chest without fighting anybody. Nope, nothing in it. Yeah, I think we were hurting each other while we were fighting. I think it, it might be because I chose a faction. I'm out of potions, though. Yeah, press I. How many of the red bottles do you have? Yeah, drop drop the stack of five. You just click it. You just drag it to the ground. Yeah, stack. Yeah, stack of five, and I'll split them and give half back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's split. How do you split? Controls. I'm not sure how to split this. Here, I'll give you one back. Just There, pick the one up. I'll do most of the combats. You'll just have to follow, and I'll try to... Got a big tower over here. Can I go up the? Oh, look! I can climb the ladder. You just walk up to him, press F. Oh, there's a fancy sword up here, except I can't use it yet because it's. Oh yeah, you're stuck on, move to your, you need to move to your right. Yeah.
Press F for sp Oh, you're going down again. I'll let you go up. Maybe there's too many people up there. You walk up, press F. That F attaches you to the ladder, and then you just move up with the W. Yeah, we're both up here. Yeah, let's see. There should be a lot of other stuff in here. I should probably wait for you, though. So. Yeah, the climbing down looks kind of strange, but... It, yeah, not... it. Look at this goblin. He's up here. Hey. Yeah, he's stuck in the environment texture. Oh, there he came out. Here we got him. Oh, I tried to take a picture of his corpse and he's already gone. Yeah, I get a lot of games sent to me, and this is one of the few ones in a while where it's, I actually wanted to play it. <laughs> yeah, most of the games that get sent to me are like in pretty rough shape. Is it worth paying eight ninety nine for though? That's the question. Yeah, eight ninety nine. Yep. Because the guy's trying to get people to play his game. <laughs> and we run a group that preserves games. I talked to him, he gave me four keys, so Yeah, in return for a free key, I'm recording it. I'll write an article about the game. I'll see what I can break in it, what I can do, and... Yeah, I'm not... I probably won't give it a rating. The goal isn't to, like, bash somebody's pro... Like, I, I, could I could rip this game apart, but that's not the purpose. Yeah, this is a, a very solid start to a game, and there's enough here that will keep you busy for hours, as is. Yeah. Where are we at on the map? So that's a goblin. Wait, if we go south... I think the game needs a compass, though. The compass or a mini-map would help out quite a bit. I mean, you get the actual map if you press M. But you have to, like, make sure you're orientated... Your orientation's the right way when you're running. It's fine for me. I don't mind. Remember the game that... Like, it was stuck on the music and loading screen when you tried to play it on your computer, Mortal Online. That game doesn't have maps. Oh shit, we gotta get back to a town. Yeah, we gotta go back to a town. Yeah, we, we gotta go. We're almost out of time. We're, it's, we've been in the toxic environment too long. We gotta head back to town. We'll die and lose everything on us. Yep.
And then you have to go back and get all your stuff because you, you, it's full. Yep. It, it's one of those games where you drop everything on death. Are you keeping up? Like I, I like there's some text that needs cleaned up and some editing. There's some like graphical issues here and there but i really don't know what to tell the guy i mean it's there's enough here to sell it as an early access game yeah. and the issue he's having is marketing which is something i'm not good at which is we can play the game hopefully maybe somebody will pick it up from our group get a couple sales Yeah. See, once we're once we're back in town, the clock goes up. Once Your number isn't going up. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. Just stay put. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, stay put. I'll be right back. I gotta drop some I gotta drop some stuff off. Oh not enough. Yeah. I wonder if I can build anything. I need for that. Fletching stand. Fifty stones and ten logs I can build an achievement hall. I can upgrade my helmet now. Let's see. I got logs. I got too much stuff. I have a little garden I can plant stuff in. That's not where I wanted to log at all. That's why I, there's no room. Oh, wow. Do I have a bow? Hmm. I move the log over. You want a wizard hat? I'll bring that along. I don't have bolts for the crossbow, and I don't think I have a regular bow either. Lots of arrows. Oh yeah, where's my other chest? Yeah, this year I'm going to run into is just running out of space to store everything because I like keeping everything. So yeah, having the option to build more chests would be what I would recommend. Ten logs, five nails. Oh yeah, I should harvest my plant. I'm coming back, I promise.
plant him a plant. And so far I have an al looks like an alchemy table. I have a fishing hole. I have the upgraded house. I have one plot of farmland. I have a log that I dropped on accident. I think my quest should be... I should build one of each thing here. So three logs and a knife. Need three logs, a knife. Oh, yeah, I have a tanning rack. Three logs, a knife, and a tanning stone. Uh, and ten stone, three logs, and a fletching knife. Oh, yeah, I think I come back like one village over. But your timer went all the way up, right? Here, let me set this up so it streams. Why not? We have a Twitch channel, but I'm not I'm not good at the whole Twitch thing. Why not? Let's get the Twitch. Okay. What is the Twitch? Oh, yeah, I got to mark it in uh Oh wow, somebody's actually playing Wyvern. This guy joined our Discord and he's all about... I gave him like a huge list of games to check out. And he seems a lot like me where he's just hopping between game to game. It's rough. Like So many of these games, there's good games that don't have the community they need. And bad games with huge communities. And then like mediocre games that have have like really good communities but the games just aren't that fun it's just game younger people are used to a different style of game is what it comes down to yeah it's not really bad or good but they need to like game like MMORPGs just aren't there needs to be like better categories to organize them. So, I mean, the World of Warcraft experience and Azeroth's Call experience, they're kind of the same, but they're different enough where different people would play the other one. You remember Dark Age of Camelot, right? And that that's a different experience. And you've seen like other games I've played where it's like you get nothing at all and you have to like start and build stuff from like scraps and Let me, let me tell everybody I'm streaming. What is the pin messages? There we go. Cancel. Exit. No, 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 no. There we go. Now we're streaming. Now I'm a big dog. And why isn't my health going up in this town? Oh well. I need to go to Spawnville, which is down this way. Without an artist, how would... The problem is monetization. How do we monetize this game? Because we... You remember Milkcraft, right? That's free. And for somebody that wants building, you can do a lot more building type stuff with that game as well as a more area to explore. It's actually, this, the way this is set up, it's actually a, quite a unique experience compared to other games. Sure, I'd, I'd like more freedom to crap, like build stuff the way I want it, but 
it's a different gameplay loop. Okay, now my now I'm going up. Okay. Walk up, press E to pick that up. Walk over to the wizard hat and pick it up. Did you get it? Tell me when you're ready. I don't know how long I'll stay. Right there. I got a new helmet. Now press I. Yeah. See the wizard hat in your inventory? You want to drag that to the, the one on the top left. The top left box, it's kind of like on its own row. You want to drag the wizard hat up there to equip it. Uh, no. You dropped it. Look behind you. Uh, yeah, Rich, right? Pick it up again. I'll help you. I took a screenshot of it. You can always press V to change your view. Yeah. V. V is in Victor. Then you press V to go back to first person. I know you I know you can't pick like do your own like character but does the does it at least help that you can have outfits you find that make you different? See so yes. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of quests you're supposed to be doing but who can, who cares about those? Let's go find some another, another place. You want to go to the swamps? Actually Oh, there's bolts. I could have bought bolts here. That's a shame. I'm going to buy some health potions. How much gold do I have? Sixty. Oh, that's a better, better health thing. Got a barrel here. Okay, let's get used to looting stuff. Walk up to this barrel and then take everything out of it and put it in your inventory. Yeah. We'll store it at your... Yeah, we'll start storing stuff in your... Yep. What do you think of these little ghost? Oh yeah, you can talk to these ghost guys, and they'll tell. They might tell you some lore. Like this guy, he said, "Yeah, we had to endure so much in this village. We had to fight off orcs weekly, find a way around that damned beetle, and what did us in was a little bit of gas. However, it's sort of funny that the orcs got tired of us beating them back. They skipped, just skipped us, and attacked Ghost Town. Fortunately, they were completely unprepared since we had been holding them back all these years." 
It's not bad writing. It, it's clearly written by somebody that's like a well-educated, well-read person that hasn't done professional writing before, if that makes sense. But I mean, that's a lot of game. A lot of, I mean, if I, I'm, I'm not a fiction writer either. If I were to write something, it'd probably be the same quality. It's good enough. But yeah, the the settings fit. They make sense. They're consistent. Yeah, we are. We're the unless yeah, we're the only two in this game. Remember the second hand lands, the game where we're the dogs? Remember the game second hand lands, we were the wolf people? Yeah, we're the only two in that game the whole time. People Remember Rift, the game that was kind of like a World of Warcraft ripoff, but it had some like weird spawn things? Yeah. Are you having more fun in this game or in Rift? It was a, it, it looked a lot like World of Warcraft, except you'd have like these events that would happen. Yeah, it was that style of game, except it had these like dynamic events that would happen in the world. You probably don't even remember the game. You... Yeah, you don't even remember the game. It's not. No. Yeah, you probably won't even remember the game. It's not a bad game, it really isn't. It's just f forgettable. Very forgettable. Yeah. Kill for 30-30. Yeah, that's probably the wrong one to... Oh, that one's locked. There's got to be a chest around here that has, like, shoulder pads for you. Oh, three logs. That was part of what I was going to try to find. Three logs, a fletching knife, and ten stones. But, yeah, you can, like, craft your own stuff. Yeah, that portal takes you back to your own area. But, yeah, there's... You need to find chest... For you, not I mean shoulder pads. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, there should. Oh yeah, I don't have money anymore. What does it take to craft them? Where's the crafting guy? Yeah, he doesn't have the, what I need for sale anymore. He cleared out the food barrel. But yeah, you can find little books around to learn more about the world. Yeah, it, it, this game's issue is a marketing issue. There, there's nothing... I, I could tear this game apart. There's a lot of stuff that needs work. But it's stuff that needs work as a result of no revenue coming in. And one person being involved. It's It's... If there is more revenue coming in, there could be more content. They could have like seasons where certain events happen. But one guy and no money coming in results in I I know that there's a lot of stuff that has better populations on Steam right now that are much, much worse than this. That's just seeds. We'll find we'll find you shoulder pads. Let's go this way. We'll find you some armor. 
No, 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 we don't want to go this way. We came from this way. We don't need to go to Ghost Town. We need to go this. You have like a tanning rack. You know, actually, yeah, I was going to see what it takes to make the shoulder pads. Two bronze ingots, but I didn't bring a pickaxe, so... Yeah, that's a problem. We'll just find them. So what do you want? Let's see, do you want... You want to go to Haunted, Co Haunted Cave? Sandstone City? Orc Encampment? Serpent Desert? Yeah, press M and tell me what you think about the map. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like somebody made it in like MS Paint, but it, it but it fits the game perfectly. Like it's this whole minimal. There's a lot of games that look flashy, but stuff is so out of place. This game embraced its its. They didn't have a whole art team to work on this. But what they have here, it, it it's all. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's an item you have to carry. Hey, it's already better than Mortal Online. You can actually have a map. But yeah, a compass as an item would be a nice inclusion. Are you following me? Oh, you probably still have the map up. I'll come back to you. Yeah. I I actually kind of like not having the automatic mini map and having to use the map. It's just I like a compass as an item. <laughs> I like to have both, like a map plus compass. So you still have like the weird sense of it's still the sense of adventure instead of just like following. Oh look, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Say so cute. Oh, lots of them. And every time I go to take a screenshot, I'm going to change direction. Get back here, chicken. There we go. Yeah, if nothing else, I'm giving this guy some stream time that, who knows, maybe somebody will watch it. He'll get an article that at least a few people will read, and they'll get the gameplay footage on YouTube that will get some views. If he were to abandon this project, I would love to take this on because I have this is enough of a base for me to work with to make something great. I just need to get some tomb rocks in here. Have tomb rock village. <laughs> now I'd probably get sued by Warner Brothers, even though they're doing. Think about that. Azeron's called an intellectual property. I believe it's still owned by Warner Brothers, and they're doing absolutely nothing with it. Yeah. Think about how well that world would fit a movie. You have the different s subsets of the Tumorox that are fighting. The Lugians. It can be like a CGI type movie with all those characters in it. The epic struggle against the Verindi. It's a shame that more isn't done with that universe. Why are they out of place? It's a grassy area. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, sp spiderling. Spiderling. 
Why am I not hurting him? There we go. Oh, got feathers. Yeah, that's odd. Back up and let me fight him. Oh, you got him. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, that's that's strange. I I haven't had that. Let's let me fight something else. Yeah, this one's fine. This, that was really. St and I've had we've had stuff like that happen in World of Warcraft before, though. It's just part of a game being multiplayer and online. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're supposed to vi visit a village there, so we should do that after this game. Okay. This is going to be Sandstone City, and then we can go to Orc Encampment, and then the this other one. Got the cactuses, cacti. Can I collect anything from them? Sandstone City. Oh, that's oh, here it is. Look. If for somebody that loves like finding little pieces of lore, collecting little items and crafting, and then just exploring a map, this is the perfect little game for that. Just somebody that wants a game where they can explore and then like craft little things here and there, and yeah, look at this place. And then I'm sure that. Darl has, yeah, he has something to say. I heard that corruption has allowed ancient ghosts to manifest themselves in ectoplasmic form like we have. Team seems fair except for the fact that there seems to be a cult of them attacking to raise the tomb that the librarian locked the corrupted tomb inside of. Who knows what kind of life he might have been trying to create in there. Yeah, create life. He's locked away because he read the Tome of Life Creation against his oath to never set eyes on ancient text. I only know this because before the corruption killed everyone, I was trained to become a Tome Guardian myself. I'm not... What do you think about the the dialogue? Yeah, you just walk up to him, press F, and you can read it. Do you understand it at all? It has kind of a conversational tone to it that I like, but at the same time, it. I don't know. I need a better sample size. I, th I think the conversational style works, but it did feel like there's like a run on sentence in there, but we'll, we'll wait. Yeah, it's very converse it's very informal and conversational, so I don't know if that style works better than it being like very uh, Yeah, it's a it's a conversational and formal approach to writing the dialogue versus being very formalized and well edited.
But yeah, let's let's go inside, see what's in here. Oh, it actually helps our health. Open container. What we got here? I don't need any of that stuff. Where are you at? No, not it's in walking this little like corridor. You keep walking in front of me as I'm taking screenshots, but it's all right. No, it's fine. Got a food barrel over here. It's empty. Yeah, I'm screenshots, videos. I'm going to be, you know what? We are going to be top 10 Project Wasteland players. Just like we were top, we're the top. Yeah, we're the best two on this game right now. We should keep a list of the games that we're the best two players on the whole time we're playing. Secondhand Lands, this Project Wasteland. Yeah, if, any, if anybody's watching this stream. Yeah, the platforming isn't bad either. Really isn't. There's a bit of floatiness to the jump that actually works. Yeah, jump from jump from area to area. Tell me what you think. Isn't that like isn't that designed perfectly for somebody that's like a casual player? Yeah, I think it's built on Unity. I don't know how much. How much of the engine he customized? Like a custom. How much of it's like a modified engine? I hate to say like port this to mobile, but maybe there's a market in the mobile audience. I know that mobile games have like a bad reputation for being. Yeah, mobile games have a bad reputation of being like cash grabs because a lot of them are. They're like trash games. They're just cash grabs. But there's actually a lot of really good games when you go through it. Do we need any of this stuff? Oh, fireworks shop. Here we go. Let's see if the fireworks work. Okay. Are you watching me? Did you see a firework? I didn't. <laughs> no. I might have been too far away. I think I was outside the, the distance for it. Did, did it like explode into anything? <laughs> and a curve. Yeah. There's gotta be somebody here that sells what you need. I, oh, I think this guy. Wood bow. You need shoulder pads. Iron shoulder pads. And a wood bow. I don't have the money for a bow. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to drop something. Muhammad. Okay. Are you watching me? Got two things for you. Come pick them up.
You know, you've had like the fewest issues with this game figuring stuff out than anything we've played recently. You say it's easy? Yeah, apparently the developer is watching the stream. Yeah. Yeah, if I had a game like this, I'd be like watching the server all the time to see who logs in and get so excited if somebody. Yeah. Okay. Okay, press I and then the shoulder pad things I gave you, you'll drag them over to like the one next to your weapon. Do you need me to come over there and help you? They go to the one in the middle, below your helmet, above your belt. No, I'll, I'll show you. You just gotta get your defense leveled up more. What's my defense? Actually, I should probably. I have combat five, archery four, magic four, defense five, gathering five. If you press K, I'll show you like all your levels. Well, you have to hold down K. What's your defense? Combat's five, archery four, magic four, gathering five. We should probably have you do the actual quest, but that's, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, let's get, we'll get you killing things at least. So which way, are, let's go to orc encampment. You'll be fine with that. I'll make sure you don't get killed. Yeah, you're like level one everything though, so it's to be expected. Right. There we go. What's up? Oh, look, snakes. Yeah, l let me kill one first. Up here. Yeah, let me let me kill one first. Oh wow. These guys are a bit rough. Yeah, I'm gonna die. No, I got him. Q. No, your health is fine. No, you're not going to fight the Cobras. <laughs> you're too underleveled. <laughs> You'll run out. I went through like a bunch of health potions. You can try. Uh-oh. Yeah, come help me. It's fine. We got him. 
Nej, jeg må... Yeah, I am in bad shape. We gotta go back to the town. No, I don't think so. Let's go back to town. It's okay. No, I went through all of them fighting the Cobras. Uh, press I. The red berries you can eat for health, and then the potions you have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we're like outside of the range we should probably be at at our levels, especially you. But where are you at? Oh, there you are. Right here. No, I think. Let Let's see what I can sell, and maybe I can get some health potions. If I had this game, oh look, there's a developer. Yeah, he's bringing care package. That's no care package. Health potions. There, you you pick up that one. Yeah. Yeah, outside of just finding the right audience for this game, there's really nothing that's terrible about it. I'm used to like playing these games and there's like an obvious flaw, but like this goes in like the Pong Arena category where it's a really well-designed game that would appeal to a wide audience, but Are you Did you Are you sure it didn't go up? Press it again. Press, oh wait, here. There, pick those up. Now press Q. I have nine now. Yep. Yeah, I think there are stacks of them. Yeah, press Q, get your, get up. There we go. Is, does your timer say 20? Yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah, I like orcs, so let's. Yeah, let's go find these orcs. Okay, the good thing is, let's say we die out here in a place where we can't recover anything. I, I have full sets of gear and everything already stashed away, so we'll be fine. Yeah, I've been, I've been talking to him on a regular basis. I know it's, what it's like to release something to the market and then the market just doesn't want it. I shouldn't say doesn't want it. It's, it's the finding. You have something where there's a market for it, but you're just not getting... You're just not finding that audience. So you have like the whole puzzle of how to market the game. How do you get how do you get the people that would love this game to play this game? I really don't think the guy should be wasting his time doing some sort of like tech support or sysadmin job. He should he should be making games. And th this is well designed for one person. This is amazing. We played some one person games before that were bad. <laughs> oh, look, orc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a guess and say this orc's probably something you shouldn't even touch, but we'll see. I like him, though. Too bad we can't join with. Them. Did he drop anything? 
I think our two games are a slightly out of sync. So I heard the death sound from yours at a different time than mine is off by like a second. I, th I think either you might be la well. That's what we need. We need to be recording. I'm going to get it set up later so you can actually talk on a mic and record what you're doing without it affecting the game too much. And then we then through this computer I can like monitor it to make sure we're both synced up properly and actually p test this game like properly. I can't talk today. Yeah, I can't talk. Here, I I need inventory space, so pick up this stuff. We've got some Pick up this stuff over here. There's like feathers and you got some feathers. <laughs> Press I. Are you full? Yeah, I got two slots, but I can. over here. Oh wait, is that that looks like a that looks like a really big guy over here, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't we're definitely not ready for him. But we can take on these guys if we plan it right. Where am I at on health potions? I got seven. I'm sure there's some stuff to find in here. Yeah. Bigger bags is what I would want in this game, but that's how I am with every single game. That's how I am with every game. I collect everything. So I always need like bigger bags and I'll make extra characters just for the bag slots. But yeah, but the gameplay loop is that you go out, you collect It does in the towns, but not when you're out here. Like this is like plagued lands. It it wouldn't fit the lore of the game for the health to regen out here. Like this is this is like a toxic area. So yeah. Here, stay put right there, and I'm gonna see if I can like if there's any chests in here. If I can loot them really quick, without. Yeah, I'm gonna try to loot the chests in here without. There we go. Found a chest. Can I get in? You need to loot the chest without like. Upsetting anybody. I'll get in here. Is there a crouch button? Oh, well, we'll try a different one. Okay, let's hurry up. Rawhide. Always rawhide. I'm sure we'll come in use one day, but... Oh, good! Nails! Nails are good. Wood is good. Can I stack these bags? Sure can. And now it is time to head back. Where did I leave you? I think over here. Oh yeah, the draw dist the draw distance is. It makes sense that it'd be kind of foggy like this, given it's plagued lands. But the draw distance is actually pretty good. I was able to find you without any issues, and it seems like you've been able to track me. 
So we need to go... The way I am walking. So let's... Make sure I'm going the right way. This way. You have the little signpost there, so you can... Oh, yeah. I guess you can... I guess you can make a cart or a wagon or something. Oh, there he is. Apparently, there's like a cart or a wagon or something you can craft to get more space. Yeah, these are guys more appropriate for you to fight. Like this guy. Yeah. PvP. Yeah, we gotta get back to town. Okay. Oh, wait. Wagon. Oh, I got a wagon. Okay, press. Yeah, I got a wagon. Does it show a wagon? Let's see. You like my wagon? Yeah. How much inventory does that give me? Oh yeah, it gives me a chest on there that probably had, let's see how much, F. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Plus there's health potions in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in, when you add in the, when you add in this cart, inventory isn't a problem. That's a perf, that's plenty of space. Now am I running to where I need to go? Yeah, we need to head back to this town. Yeah, with this cart, I should probably ask. A, I have a question. Let's. See. Uh, yeah, I think you press enter or something. I'm curious whether the cart stays in game. Or not. I just asked him on Discord. Oops. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to. I'm going to stop pulling the cart. Let's see. Press E to stop pulling the cart. A. There we go. I th see if you can loot the chest on there. Yeah. Yep. No, you, you don't want to take the cart. You want to you want to do F to open container. Hey, you need to get rid of, put here's what we're going to do. Anything in your inventory that's not that's not like your core like materials like your don't put any of your like armor or anything or the shoulder pads in here. But just dump everything else in this cart. You have. Okay. Yeah, you don't need fish right now. You don't need. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be updating pretty much instantly on my end as well. Uh, keep the hatchet on you. Yeah, I don't think you. Oh yeah, the red berry. Oh, those are red berry seeds. Yeah. 
Yeah, keep the. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, keep the berries, yeah. You can use those for health. Let's see. Bro. I need to... Yeah. You already took some. We should probably actually do the quest to get you leveled up. So yeah, do you take all the healing po potions? Yeah, go ahead and take the take the bronze ingot out of the cart. The bronze ingot, take it out of the cart. Bronze ingot. It looks like a rectangle. Yeah, it's on the top row, the fourth. It's the second one over if you're starting from the right. Top row, bronze ingot. Yeah, I think the first... Let me go back. Yeah, we're going to need two of those to do your... Let me... Actually, let me look at the quests. Okay, quest log... Okay, I'm going to, let's see. That's fine. We'll, here, I'm going to take some stuff back to my area, then I'll be right back. Okay. Actually, I wonder if there's some stuff I can build. Do I have three logs and a fletching knife? I thought I had the fletching knife, did I? No, I don't. I have ten stones. I know there's a huge stigma against mobile games, but I think the mobile market would be the place to put this game to get an audience. But I don't have any experience with Unity development. So I'm not sure how easy it is to take a PC Unity game and port it to Android and iOS. Oh, bronze. I think I have both th those that you'll need. Might as well take that. Oh, yeah, it's getting... S oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a bronze ingot you needed. Oh yeah, I can carry like the tools we need in this cart. And then as you need them, we can just grab them. Oh yeah, I can't just give you the pre-made ingots. You have to actually make them in the quest. So yeah, we'll we'll here we'll do it the right way. We'll do it how it's intended. So we'll get you we'll get you a pickaxe and we'll go do the mining. I'll hold on to some ore in case we have trouble finding it. Oh. I need to. Oh yeah, I need to move this stuff over. I need to show you some of the homeworld stuff too. 
You yeah, actually like you'd probably like it. You can like build little things there from the stuff you find. So yeah, bronze. I'll put the bronze ingot up. Iron ore we are keeping. What am I doing? I think I'm moving stuff in the wrong direction. <laughs> I've been meaning to take stuff off the cart and put it away, and I think I've been putting taking stuff out of my camp stash. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been doing this backwards. It's all right. Yeah, I'll keep some iron ore. And I'll bring a pickaxe. You know, I should do a search for what else is available that's sort of like this in the same price range on Steam as well as itch.io and a few other places. Okay, what was I getting? I We need to get a set of tools in there. You have a shield, don't you? Yeah. So we will hatchet, pickaxe. I have lots of red berries. Oh wait, thought I had, oh wait. Hold on. Yeah, I, I do things in this game just like real life where I start like I start with the goal of doing one thing and I end up doing like 15 other things and eventually I get back to the first thing I intended to do. Can you do that? Did I actually plant anything? Hey, let's get this card off me. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is plant. I have red berry seed. I think I I think I planted them. Bring my cart along and head back there. If nothing else, we're here to preserve game, so we need to at least explore all the areas. If there's any updates made, we'll organize those and And you are in you're in Spawnville, right? When you hold the when you pull the map up. Use your map. You're in Spawnville, aren't you? Hold down M for the map. Yeah. Yeah. And the cart slows you down, which makes sense. It should. There's games that add mechanics like this, but they don't really add like any sort of... They don't really make it make any sense. So you, They'll give you like, oh, you can have such and such thing with extra baggage, but it doesn't impact your play at all. Okay, I didn't. I am going. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near the right way.
You know what? I have an idea. You know how Josh will talk to me from time to time about perhaps working together because I know a lot about obscure MMOs? What if I threw what if I snuck this one on the list of recommendations? What if I got this one on his list of recomm I wanted to Oh I'll throw it on there with the with the I'll I'll buy it for him if it that's the barrier. Not that he doesn't have the money, but I'll offer to buy it. He'll he'll treat it like a buy to play game for nine dollars, but first off, he'll get some exposure. Like there's people playing there. Oh, other land, a game that's like half broken but has a beautiful world. There's actually an active player base there now. Is this you? Yep. I gotta use the bathroom, so. Okay. I'm gonna keep the stream. Actually, I'll keep the stream up.